And there's some games with that. Take all that too. Yeah, how much were you just asking? Just take it. Just take it? Yeah. Yeah, we were just going to give that away. We didn't think it was worth anything. So I'll put a screenshot up on the screen, but there was a PlayStation 2 bundle of games listed for $10, mostly lower value titles. So I actually messaged her and I asked, hey, do you have any other stuff? And she responded, um, I have these as well as some GameCube stuff for 20 bucks. So I responded back to her and I said, I'll take the GameCube. Can you send me a picture of it? And she sent me this picture, which I'll put on the screen. It's a GameCube console with Super Smash Bros, uh, Zelda, Twilight Princess, Tony Hawk, American Wasteland, and a few other filler titles. But yeah, 20 bucks for the whole bundle. We're going to go pick it up. Hello. Hey, how's it going? I'm here to pick up the video game stuff. You are. You guys don't happen to have any other old video, video game stuff, do you? Oh, okay. Come on downstairs. Well, we were going to get some more. We have some old, I don't know what we have. My kids used to play all this stuff, and we're just kind of cleaning up down here. You want this PS1? Uh, yeah. And there's some games with that. Take all that, too. Yeah, how much were you just asking? Just take it. Just take it? Yeah. Yeah, we were just going to give that away. We didn't think it was worth anything. So if you really? want to just take it, take it. Yeah. That's so kind of you, really. Okay. Well, what am I going to do with it? <laughs> I definitely appreciate yeah, that. So we can add it to the box. Here's all the parts for that. It'll be great. Here's a computer video game. If you do that, I don't know. It's a card game. You can just play that. Wow, that was unexpected. The power of asking, I guess, huh? Uh, hey, do, do you have any power else? of getting rid of stuff? We're just like, you know, gutting the whole basement out pretty much. So. Well, it looks nice. <sighs> We've shifted from having our kids live here to. Renting out rooms, basically. Well, that's got to be nice as a passive income. Yeah, you know, why not? Well, I definitely appreciate it. And All right. I yeah. appreciate the, the throw-in stuff. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. I'm glad you could <laughs> use it. All right. Have Great. a good one, man. Have a good one. Thanks. That was really awesome of him to throw in that PlayStation and games. I saw a copy of Spider-Man 2 in there, which is super cool. I'm going to go over that stuff more thoroughly when we get back to the house. Most of this stuff I didn't put into price charting, like the lower value games, the memory cards, a lot of these lower value games that are worth $10 or less I didn't put into price charting. Um, this Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4 case was actually empty. I did check all of the cases, I couldn't find that. There was also a random sensor bar in that bag, so I bet they've got a Wii somewhere. But all the rest of this stuff came out to a total on price charting of $474.93. Of course, the best stuff there is going to be the Zelda Twilight Princess at $117.07. The black GameCube system worth about $75. And then the Super Smash Bros worth $72. I was kind of surprised at the value of the Spider-Man for PlayStation 1. Um, the greatest hits version on price charting is $47, and this one's actually a double for me. All in all, I'll say 30 bucks for this entire lot is not a bad deal. Originally, it was just these PS2 games listed, and I actually messaged and asked, hey, do you have anything else? And sometimes the power of an ask can actually pay off. And then, of course, when I got there, I asked again, do you have anything else? And he actually just gave me the PlayStation 1 for free. So that was really cool of him. I'm definitely appreciative of that. Not bad for 30 bucks. The price charting total came to $474.93. And all of this stuff is actually doubles for me. I'm not going to be keeping any of it. It's pretty nice when you start finding valuable doubles. And I was also surprised to see that both Twilight Princess and Smash Bros. are complete. So that was pretty nice. 
So I was doing my normal thing, scrolling through Facebook Marketplace, looking at garage sale listings, and I found one that has some pretty good stuff. I noticed on one of the tables, there was some Game Boy games and some DS games. So I shot her a message and I asked her how much she was asking. She said 20 bucks for all of it. There's a Zelda Spirit Tracks and a Pokemon Ruby in there. So yeah, we're going to pick this stuff up. Hi there. Hi. Selling the video games? Yes. <laughs> all right, I don't need to test it. I take your word for it. Okay, sounds 20 good. 20 bucks, thank, thank you, you ma'am. I didn't price chart this stuff this time just because it's not a whole lot of stuff and I'm confident I know the values here, but this stuff down here is lower value, so it's going to be kind of harder to sell. And then this stuff up here is the stuff that's actually worth listing. We got a DSi, which I did power on just to make sure it works. I also popped a game in there and tried it. But we got Pokemon Ruby, which I'm going to put a new battery in. I think that's worth about 50 bucks right now. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards, which is about a $10 game. Avatar, which I think is like 15 to 20 bucks. This one's actually complete. I stopped collecting DS unless it's stuff that I'm really like looking for, like Zelda games and Pokemons and stuff like that. But I've pretty much got all the stuff that I really want for DS, so that will be for sale. And then the best item here, Zelda Spirit Tracks. Uh, this game's currently selling for, I believe, like $70 to $80. And this one is complete. It's got all the manuals and stuff back there. And it is a double for me, so I'm definitely happy about that. This is why you stay up late and message a whole bunch of garage sales and scour the listings. Because you never know when that one is going to pay off. Unfortunately, uh, none of this stuff is going into the collection just because... The ones that I would keep, I already have. So I'm still happy with this pickup. I paid 20 bucks. I should be able to turn a nice little profit here. I think the value is around 180 to $200. But yeah, on to the next. So before I end this video, I just wanna walk you guys through a couple of my best hunting tactics. I don't know, maybe it can help a couple of you guys score some really cool stuff. Tip number one, lurk marketplace all day, every day. If you can catch good listings within the first five to 10 minutes of them being listed, you've got a really solid chance at that haul. The key is getting them to market as sold because if they don't market as sold, it still shows up in the marketplace feed and other people can offer and backdoor you on that deal. So you wanna be the first person and you wanna get them to market as sold. Tip number two, join as many local garage sale groups as you can on Facebook. I'm in over a hundred garage sale groups in my city and in the surrounding cities. I can put a little example up here on the screen about, about what they look like, but I'm in so many, I'm in countless groups. So whenever there's a new garage sale posting that pops up, I always comment or I always message and I ask, hey, do you have any old video games? I'm looking for Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, GameCube, Game Boy, PlayStation, Sega, just list it off. You never know what they have. I would say for about every 100 messages I shoot out, I might get one good hit. So it really comes down to just persistence and messaging nonstop all day, every day. Because eventually if you send out those hundreds of messages, one of them's going to be a hit. Tip number three, download the app Nextdoor. I'm on this app called Nextdoor and I post on there all the time. Like, hey, I'm a collector. I'm looking to grow my collection. I'm looking for all these video games. If you got anything in your basement or your storage, reach out to me. I'm willing to pay and arrange for pickup. If you guys don't know about the Nextdoor app, I've been using it for about a year now and I've gotten a couple of really good pickups off of there. And of course, my final tip for the day, garage sale listings on Facebook Marketplace. Don't be shy to go in on Facebook and type in garage sale and then go through and search all of the pictures and all of the listings and see if you can spot any video games in those listings. And even if you can't, just reach out anyway. Message them and ask, hey, do you have any old video games? Because you never know. I just want to say, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, definitely follow me on Instagram. I post all of my pickups, including like these cabinets and these signs. All that stuff goes there before it comes to YouTube. And honestly, a lot of this stuff doesn't even make it to YouTube. So definitely go follow me there. And if you made it this far into the video, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing and on to the next.